Guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our golf course. Our golf course. We're on yeah. the back nine. Wesley, and, what, what do we got and, today? Well, first off, if you're new and you have not checked out what we what the front nine looks like, make sure you go check that out. You're going to want to stay along for this entire journey. It's going to be a wild one. I got a paint gun. We're going to get into the back nine. We're starting here on 10. Let's do it. We're, we're, you, well, one, yeah, we, it looks like we're in kind of the parking park. lot. Well, it, it's we, we, don't, off on, we don't really know what we it is. We teed off on that mat for all ten. What we've got we've got a restaurant going up here. It's gonna be unbelievable, by the way. We're gonna have a nice patio extended, and you know what I love? One of the one of the things when I first walked out here, what I saw, I love when people that are sitting enjoying a meal, maybe enjoying a beverage or three, have the opportunity to heckle. <laughs> really? Right here. So. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna mark our tea, our tea markers. Really? Okay. I can. I mean, it frames it up nicely. For back to you. you got these trees. Can you see it? Can um, you see it? Yeah. I mean. Can you see it? Yeah. I can see it personally. And so the whole the reason we one yes I do like the vibe the environment that it's gonna create on the tea box. But more importantly, from up there you hit like a four iron to keep it short of the hazard, or you can hit a driver if you fly it like 295, 290. You can fly it over the hazard. Here it gets us to where you can hit it up to 300 yards, to keep it short. So on downwind days it might be a three wood. Some days it'll be a driver, but it just gives you a longer club in your hand and also no ability to ship it over the hazard and have like a little flip wedge in. So we're gonna add some girth, we're gonna add some teeth to this place, and it starts right here on number 10, ne next to the people that are gonna be heckling their little hearts out, and I'm ready for it. You guys know, I sometimes like to thrive when I get heckled the most, so. Um, okay. Don't, don't start heckling me early. If you start heckling me early, it might turn out bad for you, George, so. Looks like someone had one good range session is all confident now, wow. <laughs> Hey, my results have been poor recently. There's no sugarcoating it. There's no hiding it. There's nowhere I can go because you guys can look on the app, look on the website, see exactly the scores I've been shooting, and they have been poopy. It says 200 yards to the creek from here, so that makes it about 220 from back there. <laughs> Ain't gonna cut it. Ain't gonna cut it. Here we go. A little, as you can see, a little rough, but that's that's the no, that's, <laughs> that's the thing this this place. But again, great little look here. Like from those back tees, we push it back. You hit it right here. You can't go over that. So I mean, you hit it here, brings in. You got trouble over there. Yeah, I mean it's it's a pretty generous tee ball, but at least it's not like a four iron wedge or four iron nine iron, whatever. So, right. on, on on to the green. <laughs> but we can see here, guys, is that the green complexes are legit. They really are. I mean, you can see some elevation change, some like different looks. So it's not all flat. Good character. And yes, guys, we realize we're not like architectural Nerdos. scientists that like that we know. No, we're just golfers who like playing golf at go cool golf courses. And so, and, and also, I mean, I wouldn't know how to design it from nothing. But when I see that some something that's already here, I know some little changes and tweaks and stuff that I would make yeah. to make it better. And this place, like we mentioned a lot on the last video, the green complexes are are awesome. They're unique. They're big. They're fun. And then you also just have like the opportunity to play golf in Columbia where you don't see a whole lot of this stuff. Yep. So it's kind of a unique feature here. As we get here, you'll see there's a nice little plateau on that back right. Little complex there. We're thinking about maybe extending some of this little front loop to give you, let you use some of this slope right here. There we to go. maybe feed it back to a hole. Um, and then another thing that we're, we're toying around with, I don't really know how it's gonna work. There's pretty much on every hole or most holes you have like these runoffs. Like they actually did a pretty, pretty good job with the drainage and stuff that collects water. But making some of these things some really long, like cut out tight, thin chipping areas to make it a little bit more penal, a little bit more difficult to get up and down. If your ball rolls 15 yards off the green in some spots, instead of just stopping right there on the edge on the rough to where you have a short little chip. So yeah, that's, that's it for this hole. I'm gonna get the gun ready for the next tee box. Yep, this place features some long drives between holes. Dangerous drives. Well, some dangerous, but also what we're going for, fast rounds, fast golf carts, minimal walking. Minimal walking is going to be one due to the layout and walks in between holes, but also, I mean, playing golf with the boys and ripping around in carts is kind of the vibe that I like. And tell me, do you like getting stuck behind a a foursome of walkers that are just kind of slow. Hold that thought. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful. Danger ahead. Oh, there's, oh, oh hey, there's a light. There's light in there. But take that away. Look at the beautiful view of this little pond here. It's, On this side, like really, 
Yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful. Pump house right here. Pump house? No. Hey, well, surely there's someone that's into pump houses. So we'll just, while we're here, we might as well, well take a tour. This is, uh, won't be here the next time y'all see it, but. It'll be here, but it will be redone. Don't walk in there because there's uh, a lot of standing water in there. Uh, there we go. That's the uh, pump house. Pump house. Doesn't smell great either. But here we go. Back there, hole 17. This way is 11. Y'all are going to want to stay tuned. Once we get to hole 17, there's going to that, that's where things uh, get shaken up a little bit. What am I taking? There, there's a little off? No, there's just there's there's exciting things that are going on in the 17th hole, George. Okay. Welcome to hole 11. Beautiful par five here. It is. It currently sits at about 500 yards from up there. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make some changes to that. But so T-Box up there 500. As you can see, straight away, still trouble. You got to get a good drive to be in, in position. But we're going to add, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 yards. Yeah, we might even go right back here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that tree's going to get taken out because that's where the T-Box is going to be. So make it about 560, which again, it's it's reachable, it's, but you have to hit a reachable. good drive. It's not like, okay, 500, you can hit a bad drive, still get there. But it's, no. it's pretty open, but also I kind of envision like a little bit of a longer, narrower box to where you can play around with the yardage, maybe give you like 15 to 20 yards to where if you want it to be reachable or if you want it to be just outside of maybe reachable range. So yeah, T-Box T -box getting jacked back here. And you'll see there's a lot of places where we're going to have to add 40, 50, 60, 70 yards in some cases mm -hmm. to holes and maybe manipulate the par a little bit to get it to play as long as we want it to play. So just a little rundown of what we're working with. We're going to have five par threes, three par fives, par 70. That's the initial plan idea. Subject to change, but that's kind of the rundown of the whole whole property. Also, is this is this whole project going to be perfect? Is every video going to be perfect? No, but are you going to get our true emotion, our true like feelings? That's how, that's what I hope to convey, but that's what it's going to be. It's, you know, we're not going to have, it's not going to be like the most perfectly executed, fancy. Oh, it's going to be horribly executed videos. But, but the, but the end gonna... product and what we're going to have here, right? I think could be second to none in something that's totally unique in the, in the world of golf and, and especially YouTube golf. My goodness. Uh, yeah, YouTube, YouTube golf is going to change, folks. Par five. 465, I don't think it's right. I think it's actually like 500 from the back tees. Um, and also, it definitely looks like this used to be a par four because they have it edited. That doesn't look. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, it's, it wasn't edited in post. We didn't add the add the graphic but on the screen in post. But it is edited on a post. It is edited on a post. <laughs> and also, we got some more more bush light here. Oh yeah, here. And some hard iced teas yeah. and some more bush light back there. Looks like bush light's kind of the 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 drink of choice out here so far. <laughs> here we go. Here's, this here's is the it. second shot. This is our look and in, in the second shot. I mean. I mean Really good, cool, easy, but also not super easy second shot. Pretty, I mean, obviously, gener generous driving uh, space here. But again, it's a par five. Like, I don't mind having a scoreable hole. Like, yeah, no, I mean, this is going to be a birdie opportunity for sure. sure. Yeah, it makes it fun. But again, you still got to hit a good one, as you'll see on the green, to uh, take advantage of, of the second shot and third shot. The cart rules moving forward are going to be loose. They're going to be loose. So we're going to go ahead and start implementing our our more liberal cart policy. The one of the things that I'm most excited about basically sits on a lot of sand cap land. So, I mean, you wouldn't know it, but yesterday it rained over an inch probably. Uh -huh. And this place is still dry as a bone. It's gonna play firm, it's gonna play fast. So with that, with that, we're afforded the luxury to be able to, to loosen up the cart rules. So you can park your cart up kind of next to the green. Oh, should I get my putter out yes. instead of the... Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's roll. Let's roll a few putts. Um, this is that is a green, people. Don't that this this is a green. <laughs> when we when we initially came out and looked at the property, what was it? Maybe like a month, a month ago or two so. Months ago, yeah, probably. A um, couple months ago. I hate to report this. I hate I hate doing this type of investigative reporting. But the the pin location has not changed in well over a month. <laughs> That's now, so true. The, the, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> the flag, the flag stick is actually straighter than it was last time we came out. It was leaning at about this angle. Hold on, let me, let me walk us to. Wait, be careful. Wash your ankles. Hold on, here. <laughs> no, these these are the times where you just find yourself in a little bit. Oh gosh. Oh my. No way. Short in the heart. Oh. Come on. Miss, well, really, How could you not read the speed better, man? Here we go. I'll, I'll try it one more time. Rolls so true. <laughs> that one, see, the first one went a little left up there at the end. That one went oh, a little left. That's so weird. Can't be having that other golf course. Just get rid of it. Yeah, as you can see, we it seemed better days, but the, the hole, it's almost double 
the sides, Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like, yes, the condition's terrible. We get it. Absolutely terrible. Not playable. But the the like we've said on every single green, the complex the is complex a great. Is elite. I mean, this is an elite. Like complex. it's a par five, but you get these greens fast. You have all these tiers that it makes it tough to to get it close. But that back that back tier actually is. It's good. And then, well, I guess let's walk up here. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna have to get extended. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's a great. I I don't know. It's just fun and hard at the same time. So usually like when you're looking at a, like a tier that's like a back tier, you want basically from where it levels off to like a one degree slope, so to speak, you want at least like seven or eight, maybe even nine paces because you need, in order to have a pin somewhat reasonable, you need at least like eight or nine feet from the edge of the green, eight or nine feet from a slope that's over 4% or around 4%. So right here we've got one, two, three, four paces so in order to get a pin location back here you would have to be uh, six feet from the edge of the green and six feet from a slope that takes a ball at least 40 50 feet away not reasonable so these are the little things like look we're just going to extend it back there a little bit yeah. just the little things that you look out for all right guys we're taking a break in the action to talk about the sponsor of today's video tommy john the most comfortable underwear and loungewear in the game and no, you guys don't have to worry. I will not be stripping down to my underwear. One Brian on the internet hitting in their underwears is plenty, but we are rocking it on the golf course. Yeah, there was a point in my career where I uh, stripped down to my skippies and hit a golf shot on national television. And it was amazing. Uh, <laughs> kind of went wild on the internet. I wish I was in a little better shape when I did it. Uh, but by golly, it was time. So with Tommy John, there's no adjustment needed and the fabric they use, there's no pinching, bunching, or riding up, which is clutch for us golfers. Guys, the confidence I have in these Tommy John underwear, unreal, like a freeing feeling like through the golf ball, but very supportive. As we drive up here to the green, not gonna lie, the technology works. They really do adapt to the moving human body. Like I made two golf swings and it felt great every time. Tommy John doesn't only make underwear, they also make the most comfortable sleepwear <laughs> of all time. Now, let's make the eagle putt. Yes! You guys, how about that eagle? <laughs> Let's go. All right, thank you so much, Tommy John, for sponsoring today's video. Now click the link in my description, use code BRIANBROSGOLF for 25% off and free shipping on orders over $75. Guys, let's go, let's get back to the video. All right, here we go, hole 12. Another par three, blind Boy. par three. <laughs> There's a pin, oh, the pin. No, that's not, that's not. We don't have a, oh gosh. At it. Yeah, so. But, but yardage is good, 175, 175. All the way to about 190, so length is fine. Yeah, but what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna have the tee sit somewhere up over here. Clear out a little bit of this garbage. And we're gonna trim down, down yeah. some of that stuff. But as you can see, look, the thing that you don't understand is when, like, let's say you just, if you go up like four feet from the level you're at, the sight line, like you get, yeah. it, it seems very minimal here. One, it takes a lot of dirt to do it, but just going up four, five, six feet can completely change the look of the hole. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go up five or six, maybe even, yeah, maybe five or six feet, shoot a little bit more this way, and it will, it will expose the left side of the green, which you'll see up there is pretty severe from over here it forces you to hit it out to the right obviously because it's completely blind but yeah left of this green no bueno great green here pretty unique now some softening's gonna have to happen here but you've got like a front bowl of a green here opportunity for maybe some dicey dicey putts if you go long or if you get it in the bowl well, hold on actually maybe maybe just maybe but this is what we were alluding to back here well, hey, look look how much lower this is, this is my level, I'm looking up to you. So, There's about like what, 10 feet of elevation change here? Or? Yeah, so I have envisioned all of this like shaved off to where you get your ball, if you get anywhere left of the screen. Look, I mean, look at, this is severe. Yeah, I mean, this is, this let's, is I mean, let's, let's give an eye level here real quick. All right, so you, right now you're eye, eye level. Obviously, you can't see the bottom of the flag. I mean, look at, yeah. So, I mean, so, you, I mean, you don't want to be ball, down here ball, at your all. Your ball's probably not even gonna stop there. It's probably gonna go a little bit further back. So you're gonna be, and this is going to be where the start of the green is. So you're at least going to be 20 yards off the green if you miss it left. Whereas the pin or the tee box pushed over this way, forcing you on the right side easier up and down. We want to expose this left side a little bit more because it is great. All right, now we're uh... we're walking. We we just walked off the green. I think we're on 12, 12 there. So we're walking to 13 where you you kind of park your cart here 
and then somewhere up in this abyss is where the next tee box is going to be. Again, if you pan over here and see where the current one is, um, we're going to be adding maybe 50, 60 yards to this one. Um, but no, I mean, it, pretty. This is actually a really easy hole. That's no. Well, it's easy off the tee, and then once you, you guys are going to see. Yeah, this, up this green does green, get, get dicey. It can get gnarly, but it just goes along with, like I said, the feel. Once you make the turn and come to the back nine, like it's just all just open. It's beautiful. It's serene. It's it's just a nice feel. It's just a nice feel. You don't feel like you're you're caved in. You got houses on each side of you. You're like kind of jammed in on a golf course that just kind of got fit and worked in a small piece of property. It's a big piece of property, so that's the part that I, I enjoy the fact that we've got all this land to kind of do whatever we want with uh, whatever we can think up here we can we can put it to work here so also drop in the comments let us know some names we haven't come up with a name yet we have some ideas ish but let us know G give us some comments like give us some inspiration to what we potentially can name this place I mean heck there might be a good one we might run with it so yeah comment what you think this should be called and just let us know if you're excited about this whole process and kind of journeying with us and from start to finish and basically building a golf course this is gonna be amazing so really kind of a blindish uphill second shot. Well this is from the, this is from the right side of the fairway. So if we move over to the left side, if you position your, your T ball well, now look look how much she opens up. Yep. It's all about angles. Big angles guy here. It's pretty generous. It's pretty Speaking generous. Angles, you don't want to go to you go you go pin hunt that back left uh, flag. Oh it's right. You wanna ride up there? You wanna ride up there? Uh, our, our, our path off until today, we, we did we did kind of yeah. we did force those rules. Yeah, we're we're just yeah, we're it's not guys. Look at we're not doing any damage. Well, no, just here we're, we're staying off the green. We're we're off, we are off, we're the, off the green. We're off the green. Believe it or not, is yeah we could drive carts all over this place, but we still like we this still weird this, this weird way like are respecting these greens. Like which, but <laughs> look, why, why should we respect no, these greens? Because the complexes are amazing. You've heard us say it literally up to this point what hole are we on 13 we said it 13 times so right back here yeah, we, we, we we talked about great back left pin placement yeah now, don't, you, you, you be, tell you tell one a little bit right this is going to be maybe that's it that's a oopsie but still i mean you go down there to we're, this pin we're talking about maybe putting some deep li little pop bunkers, bunkers over here a little mini bunkers maybe to kind of i don't know juice up the action a little bit and i'll tell you where you do not you do not want to go oh, right. right on this hole chip it there <laughs> to any, oh. any pin placement, you just don't want to go right. And you know what? You see what happens left. So, yeah. although yeah, look, you said back on the tee box, at, easy at. hole, easy hole, generous drive, and you're going to have a short iron in your hand, but boy, oh boy, you better be precise. Another thing, I think, I mean, I don't know if this is exactly 100% true or Wesley's vision, but like, we want this place to be fun, a lot of fun, kind of scoreable, you know, not afraid. If, if someone plays well, shoot a low 60s number, but also at the same time, if you're off, you can shoot over par. But yeah, we want this to be a fun place where we, it's, we're not going to get beat up. We're not going to, it's not like a US Open test, but it's going to be pure fun and just a, a really enjoy, enjoyable golf experience. But man, this is cool. This is crazy. I can't believe this has actually happened. What are we doing? Come on. No. My favorite part is, guys, these, when they, <laughs> I can't even say what they're golf cart windshields. <laughs> it's, it's on like three or four places. They have golf cart windshields. It's a staging place for some. <laughs> you can't make it up. You can't. You, you can't make it up. I mean, it's there. You saw it. Y'all saw it. Yes, the video. These are long videos, and Wesley rambles a lot already. But oh, no, no. anyway, he, he wanted me to turn the camera on to show you guys like we, we, we how put, beautiful no. his semicircle was. Yeah, this is kind of where we're looking to extend the green. Maybe have like a a little frontish plateau. I don't know. I mean, if you got a paint gun, you got to use it. So. Yeah. so I mean, this is the angle like you leave a little short. I mean, there's you can see like you know. Now green. a little short. He's talking about 42 yards short. I've you, everyone watched the Cashier's Cup. You laid some sod over it. A, a, that quite was a about bit. 97 yards short. It wasn't 42 yards short. Just saying, don't. It's possible. <laughs> All right, walking up to uh, 14th tee. Now we're not going to be walking up to the tee because it's currently 370 yards on the card. What we're going to do is we're probably going to this middle tee box up here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a whole bunch of that dirt. Maybe have this as our member's tee box. Take a whole lot of dirt from there. Move it, reposition, push some of the dirt from here up. 
so that on the right, there. right side of the cart path back there, about 40 or 50 yards, you're gonna have it. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a 270, 260 force carry on top of the, the ledge. So it's gonna be one of those things where we're gonna force you to hit driver, Did even though it's on the short. I thought it was supposed to be 470. No, this hole's 370. Oh, the next one. Is the next one, George, uh, George. Sorry, 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 sorry. So it's gonna be, it, this is gonna be a pretty, pretty dope hole. All right, here's the second shot approach. Here at hole 14, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy, but still again, a little blind. So this is currently the start of the fairway and that flag 158. Two, yeah, it's gonna be like 250, 260. So we have 158, so we try to get a little close to pin. Oh, okay. Well, shoot, I'll put this thing down and I'll get a... Hey, hey no, we've hey, not, no, no golf ball's been hit. Close to the pin. Close to the pin. You know what? And we also just, I just found a shout out Glenn Carroll. <laughs> found it in the woods right back there. Yes. Of 58, I'm going... Of Pro V146. You going 8 iron? Uh, 158. Yeah, let's go 8 iron. Man, I worked out yesterday and body feels terrible. Yeah, make your jokes in the comment section about me working out. I mean, I don't know, it's like halfway decent. Uh, it appears to be pretty short. A little high on the face. First swing of the day, not terrible though. Do I need a seven iron? Like legit? I don't know. I, I mean, I chunked an eight iron, so. There you go, that looks nice. You got about three more practice swings than I got, and you swung harder. Clear advantage. Oh! I wonder if we can catch that one flying. I win. Dang it, it didn't work out too well. I mean, kind of shanked it, not gonna lie. No, 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 we're gonna stay fresh. You, you wanna hit another one, but you're gonna get looser. We're gonna do this again in a couple holes, so. Can't afford you to get too loose. Um, there's my shank, Wesley's short, so he did win. Again, we hadn't hit golf balls, but the, the hey. story is not about the golf state, it's about this, about Hold the golf on, course. Hold on, could the story be, can he chip it in? Can he chip it in on the, I mean, actually, the fly. hey, guys, you guys, probably one of the smoother yeah. greens, hey, smooth, one of the smoother greens we got. I know, that's why I like this opportunity. Oh, did, it didn't react the way I thought it was. I know, if I had gotten the bounce and the roll and the carom correctly and then ah, kissed off the right though. That's fine. So anyway, another really cool co green complex here. Yeah, all, all um, slopes from left to right. And then also we're gonna have this thing shaped. Now, picture this with me guys, just picture this. You hit a ball, it just rolls off the right side of the green. Now, you see where this one's gonna end up. Imagine, imagine a blistering fast fringe cut here to where now your ball Continues to roll. Continues to roll. Yeah, you're gonna be left with a toughie. And now all of a sudden, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. So yeah. And if you miss it, if you do miss a left, since the green is slope left right, it's gonna be a really, really tough up and down. So good green complex. Hopefully you can come up. Hey, hey, you know what? While we're right here, let's just go ahead and reveal something. Come here. What? I'm not walking in there. No, you don't have to walk in here too deep. No, you're, I'm not going no, there. No, 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 you're, just, I'm just, staying. No, no, but you have to come see. So I envision there'd be something fun here where you put a tee box and, or cut out something. And then once you get to this point, it can be a good spot to stop and gamble where you have a little tradition, you hit a tee, bo a tee ball and try and keep it within the power line. I don't know, maybe it's stupid. That's it could be fun though, just have, you know, like some courses where you get to a hole and you go throw something, I mean, ring the I bell, take a okay. shot of tequila. I, I don't know, maybe you have like a- stupid. That literally sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but also it might be kind of fun. What if there, George, get this. What if there is a pineapple tequila station right here? Stop if it. You, no, no, George, stop, stop. Don't you walk away from I've been, me. I've been shamed about this don't pineapple you tequila. Don't walk away from me. Times on social if media. you miss the fairway, I, if you miss the I fairway, call it Bobby, Bobby fairway you try to take a, a little swig of some pineapple tequila and say to you, Bobby Fairways, this one's to you. <laughs> that and I, I, I can get behind that. You can get behind can it. Get See, behind that's that. what I'm saying. We got to start. We got to start tradition somehow. All right, here. This is not Hogan, this, Hogan's Alley. Is the wrong word. This, this is, is this is Beef Sally. <laughs> hole 15. I mean, just wait till you see this I, one. Uh, but you think this is the normal uh, tee shot? This is normally uh, it's normally normal a five back. par on the card, but you know what? We've uh, we've decided to change this one to a 490 yard four par. And as you guys saw, this will be the second swing of the day. Oh, can't even hardly get the club back. Fairway pitches left or right. Oh, I mean that was awful. We hit we. We lost Glenn Carroll's ball there. That was the worst thing I've ever seen, but hey, you know what? Hey, it's the second swing of the day. I mean, yeah. I wish I could sit here and tell you I've never hit worse than that, but we all know that's a lie. Hey, there's a tree that's right off the tee box to the left I'd advise not hitting. 
Hey, you know what? It's gonna be the right rough. Two shots. Not bad. Same results. There we False go. ball. Nope, that's in the right side of the rough. Are you Thank sure? You. Yes, positive. You. It, it looks like you hit it about thirty no, yards further no, than me as well. Why are you this, so limber? You know, this is our golf course. I know. I know. You know the quirks of our our golf course and. Right past that bend, it kind of opens up a little bit. 490 yard beefcake here. Par five on the car, we're changing to par four, like I said, par yep. 70. Um, Currently a split fairway up there where you got a lot of mounting and stuff. We're just gonna level all that down, have a fairway that's tilted just gently left to right and just have one fairway. That's a, it's, it's on the generous side, width wise, but yeah, I just envision you getting here and being like, par is a fantastic yeah, score. I agree. And yes, these last four holes, we got the mics on. I'm kind of experimenting because I think it could be fun to implement if I can get them dialed in for matches when it's just me and Wesley or something. Add a little bit extra to the video, maybe. Just let us know in the comments. Is this fine? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you hate it? No. All right, we're right in the middle of the fairway. Um, Rough mound of that we don't like. See, we, we're getting rid of the the mounds, this, if you will. Well, look at this, we hit, we hit the fairway. See, there you go, second ball. Hit the fairway on the second one. Where's yours at, George? Where's your right where's here. your ball that was safe, huh? Right here in the rough. Just Where? exactly like I said it was. My ball is right here. Oh my, he's about three feet but from again, having a lost ball. You're gonna see, again, this is a 480 yard par four that now we have a 490. Like, dicey shot in here. So, you know. 490, let's just, let's just shoot, see what I would have had to the flag today. It's going to be in the 225 range. That's how you want to a par four. Wow. I mean, that's, yeah, it's beefy. Here we go. Another again, like, like we've mentioned every, just hey. a sectioned off green complex. Guys, I, I, if, you've heard, if you've heard it once. I forgot we have the mics on. I have the mics on. I don't need to Yeah, you got to whisper. You got to whisper. You know, if you're hanging around here this long, we said we don't really We're care trying. about the audio. <laughs> we've got a cool little front section. We've got it going down into a little bit of a valley. And then there's this. And dare I say, it's another little bit of an unusable ledge. So we're gonna have to do something to extend this green a little bit, maybe take some of this dirt. I'll tell you what we could do. We could just go ahead and make right an absolute penalty to dig up some of that dirt to build up the backside of the green, which dare I say, sounds like a fantastic idea now that I'm thinking about it. But right is going to be an issue. And coming from 225 yards, 230 yards into the screen on certain days, right's a very viable option. So- um, hey Wesley, you're talking the same uh, decibel level and I'm getting yeah, farther away. No, I know. It it's, I'm a pro. I'm a pro with the mic. But look how far away and it sounds the same to them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, it's, I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful hole. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful hole. I don't know if y'all can feel it because my excitement levels aren't going up and down because of this mic situation. My excitement levels are through the it, roof. It really is. Like you walk, we walk, we've been out here before, but like every hole and the ideas get going on our mind. Like it, it's still crazy. It's like a dream. It really is. And it's going to be cool. You know, we get to document this whole thing, A, for everyone to watch, but also for us to kind of like, you know, the, the capture this moment for ourselves, which is like the, really the cool. The most important piece of this whole, the thing I'm most excited about is getting to spend so much more time oh my with God. my older brother George <laughs> I love him so much and every minute that I get to spend with him I cherish that's what I'm talking about see see guys he does love me I'll tell you what this hole does not need this hole does not need any more length we've already got a 600 yard par 5 here dog and, leg right I mean it's a dog leg right now there's there's <laughs> some there's some, some modifications that need to be made here, really not a well thought out hole, I'll be honest, just not, not well thought out. But we've got some plans, maybe. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, eh, let's not go there. But I mean, we can go there, but we just can't talk about it yet. We got some plans, maybe, of things. 600 yards, dog leg right. This is probably gonna be one of those holes that certain events, maybe you play here, but I see in our everyday normal game, playing up a tee box. Mm -hmm. I know we've talked about lengthening the golf course a lot. Now it's good to have the number on the scorecard for the extra length, but as far as our day-to-day -day games, we wanna go for par fives, get eagle opportunities. And from here, there's certain days where it's gonna be downwind and you absolutely can get there. But for everyday play, I see us going up 30 yards, playing a, a long par five, but still gently Reachable. All right, here we go. We've reached the fairway. Yep. So we're here at, at about 270 yards out is where we're at. So 270, what, which, oh, okay, let's go for, let's like go for the green in two. Oh, wait, where is it? The green Oh, is, wait, where is it? Oh, wait, where is it? Quite literally, like, 
right, you almost would want to hit it on the right side of the fairway and then try and go up right of the trees <laughs> because the green is directly this way. So plan number one is to whatever happened here, we're going to yeah, eliminate we're gonna, that. We're going to correct that. We're going to correct that. Not, I'm not talking about the turf. I'm talking about the shaping of it. Like we're going to have just what looks like a normal fairway that rolls through here. And then also, we're also going to forget that these trees ever existed and we're going to take now, I love trees. I'm not one of these guys that's like, oh, let's go chop down every tree. I love trees. We'll plant, we'll plant six or eight nice oak trees somewhere else. But right here, they just get in the way of the hole. Yeah. They just get in the way. So about 40 yards deep into this brush, all of that's going to go. We're going to get up and show you what, tr there's a tree actually up there that's an oak tree that kind of frames the right edge of the greens because it's going to be a little bit blind still because it goes around this little bend. You might be able to see the flag stick. You might not. I'm not sure. Once you open it up, I'm sure maybe you'll be able to see the flag stick. But there's going to be a tree up here that you for sure need to stay left of to hit the green. So let's go up, check out that little oak tree up yonder. Beautiful backdrop into this uh, little par five green. Yeah. Can't see the pin because it's leaning and blends in nicely, but it's there. Also, George was worried about the audio, but we never get, or we, or we never can turn down another opportunity to do to, audio. No, to mention the leaf blower. No, the wind blower that George once called it. <laughs> There's a wind blower back there, and now I relish it when we're when the we're filming. Yep. <laughs> you see, see a good wind blower. So this is yeah. just an exotic oh, feel. It's yeah. an exotic feel, and I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. The green's good. Y'all just gonna take our word for it. The green's good. There's a bunker that protects the backside. Now, what we need to do is hurry up and get to number 17 because 17 is gonna be fun. Ah, the thorns. <laughs> Gosh. This is, look, the pin left. Ooh. I mean, this is beautiful. We, we can quite literally just drive this thing right in the water. It is. Oh, oh, we got some, we got some issues here. Ah. Ah. Now, is this, is this concerning right here? Is this concerning? There's water that's running over the path. It's, is it concerning? If I told you, if I told you I wasn't concerned about that, I'd be lying. All right. Here we go. We've reached 17, the pride and joy. This this right here, this is a cool hole. I mean, just look at what we're backed up to here. Look, look, I mean, look, look. look at the beautiful green complex. We're flying the drone. Think we're flying the drone right now. No, I mean, so. look at this, George. I mean, take here. The, I mean, look at this. Look. I mean, just look at it. So we've got this, we got this tee box. Like if you come over here, you can just, angle let's changes. just show the angle changes that you can get. I mean, depending on wind direction, all that stuff. Yeah, look at this massive tee box. I mean, here. so you can get, based on wind and pin location, all that stuff, you can get angle from here. You get all the way over here to the right. Sorry, those were hiccups. Uh, it's gonna play probably 150, one, anywhere from like 135, 140 to 150 to 160 to a back pin. Kind of, you just have a lot of opportunities for distances and angles and this right here, this is what we've been waiting for. Actually, don't mind me, I kind of drove up on the tee box. Um, but we are going to completely redo this green. Now, we've told you about all the green complexes. This one fits right along with a fantastic green complex, but we needed to put our mark on one piece of this property and this is going to be it. George, you want to you let them know what we're doing? We're going to be blowing this, uh, not literally blowing this green up. We might. We might. We might. But we're going to be tearing this green up, making it the hole in one green, making pin locations. It'll still be tricky, but there'll be zones and locations where some funnels might come into play. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not, it's not, now y'all are thinking, y'all are thinking, like, it's not going to be putt like, putt. No. right, it's not going to be like Mickey Mouse putt No, putt, but, but it's going to be, there's going to be a collection agency at the bottom of some of these slopes that's going to be taking some golf balls in and around the hole. And at this point, it's going to be number 17. So the fireworks can start yeah, going off late in matches. It's going to be fun. 150 be wedged eight iron nine right. iron we can also have, we can yeah we can have t like i said t boxes yeah. can go this up gonna be fun. And, but again as it is beautiful hole like all this it looks you know rugged fun and also when you fast forward a couple years and we're out here and we're we're putting on this green or hitting a shot to this green it's going to be what we created so we are going to have to quite literally lay in the bed we make for the <laughs> rest of our lives on this hole a lot of you guys have seen uh hole markers before have you seen tombstones <laughs> it's <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the ground. Oh, hole 17? 
Also, we are excited. Not sure when it's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna be holding an event out here. That's the way in the future. But once it gets all completed, we cannot wait for you guys to come join us, play rounds with us, be our guests. Because again, it's not just a project that we're on. We wanna bring this kind of community that we're building and have everyone be able to experience, here, experience it here uh, within YouTube Golf, within just people who watch our videos, just Discord, Twitch. Like, we I don't know. People, we want people out here Grand to, opening might just get all the YouTubers out and just all of them. Yeah, I mean all of them. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be cool to like that first round that we play that we all get to play together. This is gonna be pretty cool. Maybe some spectacle match like the grand opening me versus you under the lights. Okay, not the lights, but yeah. you get what I'm saying. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Look, by the way, just look who joined. Just look who joined. G3 in the house, baby, let's go. Just look. <laughs> he's lost. I think he's lost. We had to take the mics, we had to the mic, change the mic situation, get G3 uh, in on the action. Hey, yeah. look at this. He's got, he's got one jacket, two jackets, turtleneck. Oh, nothing under, usually he's got another layer. Yeah, um, and I, I'm warm. I like to be warm. We're going to introduce everyone to our head pro general manager, unofficially. <laughs> We don't know. We don't, no, uh, general manager. That's too much yeah, of a title. Right. That's too much. Uh, of a it, we, we director of golf, head pro. We, uh, it might actually. We might just. We might just start calling him the the junior pro or assistant junior pro or assistant to the pro or. I don't the know. greeting. Head, the greeting director. I, I'm, yeah. a, I'm, I'm the head minion. He might. <laughs> head minion. Head minion. He's the director of vibology. I don't know. So anyway, take one last peek at the screen. We got no, nothing wrong with the uh, the complex. There's but just something wrong. I mean, let's just let's just put the flag in straight. Uh, well, still got a little lean to it. Yeah, it's just the green complex is great. Let's just go. Let's go to what? 18. We're gonna leave. This is like we're done here. Let's go to 18. Finish this thing up. Last hole. Hey, hole we say we saved the best for last, folks. It's a fairway. It's completely blind because of overgrown brush. We've lost this hole, folks. We'll make it. We'll make it right. Are we? What are the we're gonna make it right. Okay, plans. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go back into these woods is, until we feel uncomfortable, and then that's where we're gonna put the tee box because it's gonna be the last hole as it sits right now. It's 390 yards. We would like to get it into the 440-ish range, mm. just to at least so you don't have a wedge in on the last hole. Although you still might have a wedge, like a, a pitching wedge or nine iron, but yeah. So this is this is the last hole. It's, uh, well, it's nothing too difficult. You got a lot of space up there. No, um, but again. Again, a little bit of some scorable opportunities coming in after you, I mean, 16, you're going to have par five, and then you're going to have a short par three, and then you're going to have a birdieable par four potentially. And you can, I don't know, you don't have to feel like you're absolutely holding on for dear life because number 15, brutal. Yeah. So we're going to give you a little bit of break after that. As you can see here, this is the problem right here. What, like, we can go back as far as we want, but we don't want like a, 250 force carry yeah. all the way over here so like i said we're gonna go back as until we feel like this is like a, a reasonable carry to get here because I, I would like i said i would like to get uh, at least like an eight iron in your hand on the final well, these, are, these are a little look i mean yeah, yeah oh yeah it's yeah. a great look but this is, this is also we're gonna be going further up here this is yeah. probably gonna be where the shots come from but the cool thing about this course as well is like though you see these rolling hills, like in a lot of it's gonna change, but some of it will stay the same. Like very uncharacteristic to Columbia. Uncharacteristic. Is... <laughs> okay, so well, we've made our way here, George. 18, close the pin. How far? Uh, 181. Oh, my God. oh wait, so we can we actually can add some beef to this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's you laughing. only have to say four. <laughs> uh, you forget it. <laughs> That's hey, it. nice shot, man. Hey, that's uh. Is there someone talking over hey, here? Look, look. Oh, don't even. Break. Never mind. What? Someone what? over there. What look. is going on? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad shot. I mean, I've made three Two swings today. Camera. Two of them <laughs> were <laughs> atrocious. So, George, what'd you go back to get? Like uh, four golf iron? Ball. Uh huh. My like golf ball. I got six iron. It's got six iron as well. Uh, that's mm -hmm. not. That's not terrible. Well, right. I it's expect, not terrible, but I was, it was. I was expecting a little more of a hanging lie. The ball yeah, to go left. Yeah, I mean that's what happened. That that's right. what happened with me. I got the win, one to one today. Again, a green, good green complex, uh, clubhouse, wildlife area. But overall, just a solid, solid green to end. Comes back to this tier or this um, section. Another section over there, then a front left, uh, front of the green section. Everyone say goodbye to Pops. Actually, you, <laughs> let, you, he's been an absolute here? nuisance. Should, should we should we let him just outro the video? Absolutely not. Here you go. No, no, just let him do it. Just let him do it. What? For doing what? Just just outro, just end the video. End uh, the video for us. Uh, I love you guys, and uh, hey, stay tuned. There's more to come.
can you that's first that's it yeah. I like no that's good like subscribe comment he did he killed it crush <laughs> like subscribe comment there's more to come the best is yet to come I mean I don't, don't need to say anything but I do need to like that's our golf course yeah it's all 18 fun. holes we don't we don't have a name so drop some comments um some some um suggestions <sighs> But what a time, We're, we have a year journey that this thing's gonna go from start to finish. Um, can't wait to bring y'all on this on this journey. But it's gonna be fun, I'm excited. Should we go Coke or Pepsi products? Ooh, let us know, let's go.